as we already know, this year is 15 years since my dad died in June, and that's got its own video. But what I'm focusing on here is the um, the 15th anniversary of a different kind, because although well, it's not aware to everybody, my dad was a patonk player, and uh, had he lived, he would have gone to collect his award in the November of the year he died. Right, throughout the video I'm going to be reading from the exact things that were written from the time, so I've got how my thoughts and feelings were on going up to receiving the award, with, of course with my brother as well, and, and I've got the exact menu that was written afterwards as well. It's 15 years since he went to go and get that award. Because he wasn't here to go and collect the award, my brother and I had to go to represent him. And um, we, we were both picked up from here the Ventnor Social Club and um, they laid on a minibus so that we could get there and get back home again and the venue we were going to was Gurnard Pines and this is the venue in question the Gurnard Pines Holiday Village near Cowes and what happened was we we all gathered um, after arrival and then we made our way towards the dining area. Before the awards part of the evening, there was a dinner laid on. The dinner that Bob and I had consisted of three courses, and a starter, a main and a dessert. And, um, the, we both went for the same starter of homemade leek and potato soup but we had different main courses I had a roast beef bordelais and Bob had a fillet of salmon Claremont but we both had the same dessert of fresh fruit salad now towards the end of the dinner one of the um, people on the Patonk team came up to me and asked me if I would lead the team up onto the stage to go and receive the awards. I mean for, for a 12 year old as I was then this was a very responsible job but I've said I'll do it as Dad would have been proud of me doing it and um, I just tried to handle it as best that I could. Whilst, but I did feel a bit of the pressure, being such a young age, but my brother was right there behind me, so I was supported by him. And then, um, recording from the journal, um, when I led the team out, I felt nervous and anxious, and um, I was happy. And I, I was proud of him and what he achieved and elated. And, um, and my brother was proud too because he got to be there. And this, this is what we went to go and collect on, the, on that night. The little cup, which, which if Dad had been there, but he couldn't be there, so... My brother and I got one each as a result. It, it was a proud moment. Um, I um, to go up and um, pick up such an award. I th I thought of what Dad would have felt if if he'd have been there to pick it up, and um, but I was right at the front, and then behind us two was the rest of the team. And um, 
there were other things like there wouldn't never mean there were other rewards. It wouldn't just me and him going up for Dad's award. There were shields and big cups and other rewards presented. After the dinner and all the other ceremonies were over, it was it was um, time for the um, the winding down and the uh, musical entertainment and. Um, is put Uncle Brian was was the drummer in Blueberry Hill. It was the first time I'd seen him play live and it would turn out to be the only time I would ever see them as well. And um and at the time of course Blueberry Hill were giving out their uh, well not giving out their CDs but they had the CDs with them, a promotional thing, and um, my brother walked up to Uncle Brian and said, oh, is there any chance of some family discount? And, uh, and, um, and Brian turned around and swiped him one on the face. Not, um, not in a nasty sort of way, you know, in a joking sort of way, but, you know, I've never ever forgotten that. After um, we'd seen the band and I'd done other things, I did play a bit of darts on that occasion with a friend of mine, Terence, who used to play petonk with Dad, and then we made our way home. We should mention at this point that um, it was just Bob and I there, uh, for the Patonk dinner and dance and presentation and so on. She could not, she's put, I put, the reason Mum could not make it to the dinner is because she would be thinking that Dad would be there when he's not. Because that's what she was thinking and feeling at the time. We, we, it says we got home at seven minutes to two in the morning some people were visiting mum and had left some food out so by the time Bob and I had got home we were hungry so we had some food and went to bed.